the new season's coming up, fall's coming up, and that's the best time for fashion. And I have way too many clothes here. Either I don't fit it, it makes me feel insecure, or I thrifted it and was like, what was I thinking? If you're not obsessing over the article of clothing at a thrift store, don't buy it. You're gonna go home and hate it and never touch it again. So we're gonna go through every little thing in here that I don't like. And later in the video, we're gonna go to a clothing swap. I'm going to one in DC. This is their Instagram. The Disco, what? The Disco Loft. Everyone shows up with all of their clothes that they don't want anymore. And we basically just swap clothes. Very sustainable, very fun, very... We're heading there in a couple of days. All right, let's just, let's get started. Let's, I don't even know where to begin because I have so many looking clothes. Okay, we're starting with spaghetti straps because first of all, I don't even know why I keep my spaghetti straps. I have an insecurity. I feel like my shoulders just looks broader. It's silly. I know some people will be like, Rebecca, you look fine. You look great. Personally, I just hate it. This, I haven't even touched for a while. It is so cute, but it's just not my style anymore. I'm so over crop tops. I'm over it. Why is everything cropped these days? I'm over it. I want full length t-shirts now. I feel like tube tops now are only for like clubbing or nightlife and I do neither. This halter top literally makes me second guess my entire life. Armpit fat and it's like cropped to the max. But maybe if I had like no chest, it would look better. But I have chest. I don't know where these girls came from. Okay, guys, I swear you have a second growth spurt or something at 20. So if you if you have no hope, just wait till you're 21 and then come back to me. Unless you're already past that age, then I am so sorry. This one is armpit fat central. It's so adorable though. It's so cute. Two more spaghetti straps that make me feel insecure. If half of my clothing were full length shirts, I would keep them. If this was a full-length shirt, I keep it. I thrifted this shirt and it is such a vibe. I love it, I'm keeping it. This is the most cropped I think I'll go. You know, and it's not even that cropped. It like stops right at my belly button. Here's a cardigan that is cropped to the sky. I didn't realize how many cropped things I have, but it's an epidemic, guys. If this was a full-length shirt, it would be so swag, but it's not. Into the bag. This is a, a midi skirt. Perfect for the fall, guys. Totally recommend that. Okay. I really thought these were so cute when I got them because look, there's a little like flower cut on the side. This is a clubbing article of clothing and I, I just, I don't be doing that. <sighs> I'm like out of breath from talking. Jeez, I just talked too much. This skirt is so freaking short, but the thing is I'm short too. I only like to wear short skirts and short dresses or else my legs are just gone. I look like a midget. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with midgets, of course not. Look at the buttons. How come every button on every cardigan, on every jacket, I only ever see these buttons. I got this cardigan just so I can do this. That's it. <laughs> I would never actually wear this as a cardigan. I hate things with a zipper all the way down the middle. Like, pourquoi? This was my first ever crop top. And I remember the day that I wore this, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, it's my first crop top. <gasps> my stomach is out. I was taking Tiff's prom pictures and I, I wore this. It was a time. I'm keeping this. Haven't touched this. It's long. It's long. Shorty's long. Look, let me, here, let me show you something. This, look, the pants are hitting the ground, okay? This is, the, you have to be this height to wear. You're telling me You're telling me someone's belly button is at my boobs? Oh my gosh. Like into the bag they go. I'm keeping this though, this is cute. Look at that, adorable. I don't like this color because when I wear it, I look naked. Oh, this dress, I can't give it away. You know why? It's Valentino, red Valentino. I don't fit this anymore, but I just love it so much. Maybe I'll get it altered or something. I bought this second hand. Don't think, don't think I bought this. Like retail, pro I can't, I don't buy. Designer stuff, I don't buy designer stuff. Absolutely not. Maybe I would do that one day, maybe, but it just sounds so ridiculous to me. I've been really, really wanting to get into sustainable clothing. Just recently, I've made that switch. I just wanna be that outlet for sustainable clothing now. And I just wanna start that conversation and prove to people that like sustainability is still stylish. It's still cool. In the past, I've worked with some brands that I heavily regretted. I'm not gonna say their names because I don't wanna mention them ever again. I was stuck in contract, okay? I'm not too proud of it. It's gonna be so hard though. It's gonna be pretty fucking difficult because a lot of my brand deals are from fast fashion brands. If I'm being completely honest, that's how I pay my bills. I'm gonna share my list of sustainable 
clothing brands that I have looked up and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna link it down below. I haven't done too much research yet and I haven't even tried out these brands yet. Give me some time um, and I will begin to promote sustainable clothing. But for now, I'm gonna try my best. I don't judge anyone who still shops fast fashion not everyone can afford sustainable pieces and i totally understand that so i don't judge i don't judge we're trying to go sustainable guys hence why i'm going to that clothing swap anyways again you gotta be tall as shit i paid 40 dollars for this it's literally a napkin like i can i can go eat my dinner with this oh, i love this top because i wore it to a farm where you just like hang out with a bunch of pygmy goats and they kept chewing the shirt and that's all I could think of every time I see the shirt. Plus it's so cool. It's like from the seventies, I think. This top is so cool, but it's made of that plastic material that fast fashion uses all the time. And it just looks so stupid. It, they have nine lives, not even nine lives. If you wash it three times, it's dead. The bag is getting full. Do I get a new one? It's kind of heavy. This skirt is so tight that I literally, I can't walk in it. And if I'm walking, my feet are like, I swear by this. I still wear those sweaters with the little collar at the top. This helps so much with the bulkiness. Crop top, mm -mm. we're not doing this. I have been dying to style this top and haven't been able to. And everyone looks so good in this top and I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Guys, if you have any pieces of clothing that don't fit you or just make you feel some type of way, throw it the fuck away. Well, don't throw it away, donate it or something. But get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Please only have a closet full of clothing that make you feel good. Don't hold on to a piece of clothing because you thought it looked so cute on someone else, but it looks bad on you. This top is so sick. Can you even see that? Hello? Why is my f camera freaking out? Yeah, this is so sick. It's got like little bubbles. I don't know. I've never been able to style this, but I really feel like maybe one day. <laughs> okay, I love this sweater. It is massive. Guess what size this is? Guess, just guess. Wrong. It's a size small. Can you believe it? Oh, I got this at an estate sale because I thought it was so adorable. I thought I'd be wearing it this summer, but I literally haven't touched it, but it is not for me. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get to DC with this? This color is horrendous. I haven't even touched it. Oh, I love this shirt. I wore this to an Aeropostale brand trip. I'm keeping it, sentimental value. It was so fun. These pants are so cool. Got them from a brand I'm not too proud of. I do wanna keep these, cause I do have them, so I might as well just keep them. Levi's overall. I wish they were long, but they're not, and that's fine. I'm still gonna keep it. Calvin Klein jeans that I've had for literally two years. I love these, I go fishing in these. Guys, I go fishing, I know. Would you have guessed I'm a fisher? Cause I'd be loving it. Maybe I'll vlog that. Would you, who wants to see fishing videos? I mean, maybe. Here's another cool pant. They're long as shit, again. You have to be this tall, and I am not. Maybe if I grew like six inches. Do I want these? I don't think so. See, if I have to ask myself, do I want these? I probably don't want it. These pants were super cute because they had a little butterfly here and it's low rise, but man, does this make me feel insecure. It just hugs me in all the wrong spots. These are my favorite cargo pants, even though they're long as shit. Again, I've gotta be like 5'10 to wear these. I bought this from a lady in Georgetown who was crocheting and I thought this was the sickest vest ever. But when I put it on, I just don't look good in it. My sister would love this skirt. So I'm gonna give it to her. This vest, I love it because it's yellow. I love yellow things, like me. Okay, this is a no brainer. Your future looks sweet. Next. All right, and then these are the last two. My cute dresses, I'm keeping these. Wow, I managed to get rid of a lot. Maybe it doesn't look like a lot here, but it totally was like half. I'm proud of myself. All right, guys, we did some damage. Three whole trash bags full of clothes. I feel good, I feel lighter. All right, gotta do a little fit check on the stairs. Do it for the gram. Pumpkin spice latte, let's go. I'm a total idiot. I was sitting there for 10 minutes waiting for my drink to pop up, but it was there the entire time and I'm I'm so mad at myself right now. I literally just sat there like an idiot for 10 minutes. Idiot. I'm gonna call Tiff and tell her about it. Call dipshit. 
at Starbucks for 10 minutes waiting for my drink. And it was sitting there the whole time because... We have arrived at Tiff's place. She has pet rats that we are gonna go say hi to. my brother-in-law now well technically he's not my brother-in-law yet but we close like that i'm super excited i'm really really nervous i hope people love my clothes i hope people take it hopefully i find a couple of items that i absolutely love and will keep forever oh my gosh there's so many people you want me to carry that one too oh no i got it come on I'll be no no you. i got right. it Hello. Hey, what's up how are you good how are you Oh my gosh, half my stuff is already gone. What's up? Half my stuff's already gone. I know. It's, That's it's, awesome. It's a, it's a free for all, man. All right. Man, let's go have some fun. That was a perfect outfit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't you. know how you're wearing that material in this heat right now. Honestly, it, it was a mistake. T-shirt. That's how all I, I got. It Colin's going for it. it. Looks good. It's very comfy. And it's free. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. I'm having the, the free aspect is hard for me to understand. It doesn't make sense. Right. This is something Tiff would like. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> this was my tarp and all of my clothes are now gone. Completely switched out. That was the go. I'm eating my makeup because I'm sweating so much. We got a couple of things already. Maybe like three things we found. I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta move fast if you come here. All right, so apparently the trick is to follow the outskirts the whole time because that's where all the new people who are coming in put their clothes. Learn that trick from Laura. Laura, if you're watching, thank you. Okay, guys, we just finished. I wanted to give you all a little haul. It is so hectic. Let me see. I'm sweating. I feel like I just came out of a 5K. First up, we got the sweater for the fall. I don't know what this is. I think it's a koala. What do you think it is? It is definitely a koala. Okay, it's definitely a koala. Isn't it cute? It's Mink something. I got this shawl thing for my sister. This is from Anthropology. Anthropology is chef's kiss. Does it look cool? I won't say it looks cool, but it looks very comfy. <laughs> oh, no, look at that. You got a makeshift hood there. I'm in my blazer era. I've seen worse. <laughs> I could just throw it back in there, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I forgot to show you guys. I know, you're probably screaming like, Lice, Rebecca, lice! Is this giving Lord Fourquad? Like, actually? Isn't this the type of hat he wears? I can make it work, though. It's cute. Look at the difference in our aesthetic. <laughs> I know I went on a whole sustainability rant and then I went to the mall and bought clothes from companies that are very well not sustainable. I'm trying to be transparent and real here. Bro, I'm disappointed. I'm actually like, oh. But see, the fact that I I decided to buy these things and now feel guilty is a, is a good sign, you know? Like, I, I actually care about that shit, but obviously not enough to not buy it. Oh my God. You know what? This is, this is a prime example of how difficult it is to run from fast fashion, you know? Like, I mean, everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. The only way to fix this is to bring awareness to this issue, right? I'll balance it out, I promise. I'll make a video trying sustainable brands. How about that? To combat whatever the f I just did here. When I saw the sweater, I was like, yes. Guys, this is the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. I'm put pictures up. Here it is. <laughs> it 
is so cute. It's so simple. With the glasses, totally makes it. It's such good quality, bro. Pay a little extra. Pay a little extra to get that quality because I'm probably gonna wear this sweater for the next four falls. I got this fuzzy pink sweater. Now, it's not something I would usually pick up, but that was the whole point. I, my whole closet is just black and white. See, those are the two main colors you see. Look at the, how it fits. It just falls so perfectly. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I love this sweater. I love how it fits. Look at the sleeves. I feel like the fall is the best time to buy a little bit of color because everything is dead outside. There's no leaves, there's no color, there's nothing. And I got this skirt to go with it too. It's a, like a denim maxi skirt. Okay, the only reason I bought this sweater was because there's a freaking whale on it and I'm obsessed with whales. I donated money to this like whale organization, whale and dolphin organization, and I adopted a whale and I got this stuffed animal. Now I have a sweater that has a whale on it and I'm obsessed. If I ever see a whale in person, I think I would literally start bawling. I got this top. I just loved how it fit and the long short sleeves, does that make sense? Um, and it was on sale too. And then I also got this skirt. It's so cute. Ooh. I got this white skirt. It's a midi skirt. Ugh. Did you see it? This is so freaking cute. Do you see what kind of vibe I'm going for? Do you understand now? Clean girl aesthetic, I feel so. Put together when I'm a hot mess on the inside. It's great. Make it till you make it. Eh. This cardigan, this cardigan, this cardigan is the cutest thing ever. It's got bows on it. This is the best thing I've ever purchased in my life. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I look like a sailor's wife. Oh wait, I am. My husband sails, or he used to sail. So technically I am a sailor's wife. Anyways, yeah, so I got this skirt from a little antique store. It looks very, you know, old money vibes. This is the last thing that I bought, flowy top. So yeah, that was basically all of the clothes that I got. I didn't buy a single pair of pants, did I? I mean, all you really need is like a pair of jeans, a pair of trousers, and that's it. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with my outfits. It's like my my outfit library. TikTok, I'm struggling on TikTok, really. I don't even know what to post on TikTok. I don't even like TikTok. I like YouTube. This is honestly where I thrive. Why did I say that? I don't know. All right, thanks for watching. See, I'm not good with outros. I don't know what to say. Bye. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye.